Bro, let's be honest, being awkward just sucks. You say one weird thing and boom, you're replaying it in your head for the next three hours like a bad movie. Ever ask yourself, why does this keep happening? Even when I'm not doing anything wrong? You're not broken, man. You're just stuck in patterns no one ever taught you how to fix. I feel you. I've been that quiet guy, stuck in his own head, wishing he could just vibe like everyone else. But if you stick around till the end, I'll show you the real reason awkwardness happens and how to flip it into chill, natural confidence without trying to be someone you're not. Let's break it down together. Obstacle 1. Communication problems. Alright bro, let's be real. If your communication game's off, everything else feels awkward. Like, you might have the best intentions, but if you mumble or your tone's weird, people just don't get you. Let me tell you about a dude named Demosthenes. Ancient Greek guy. He had a speech problem and got clowned hard for it. But instead of giving up, he trained like a beast. He spoke with pebbles in his mouth to fix his clarity. Yeah, pebbles. You could try it too with grapes or something safe. It forces your mouth to work harder and helps with pronunciation. Weird trick, but it actually helps. He also sprinted uphill while reciting verses to build breath control, yelled over ocean waves to strengthen his voice, and practiced in front of a mirror to check his delivery. That last one still works today. Neuroscience shows that looking into a mirror fires up mirror neurons in your brain. They help you become more self-aware and better at reading people. Basically, your brain's like, oh, so that's what I look and sound like. Kind of wild, but true. Another common trap? Saying things with the wrong tone, like apologizing with a happy voice. It confuses people, bro. It's called paralinguistic mismatch and it messes with how people receive your message. A good fix? Grab a simple word like sorry and say it in different moods. Sad, calm, serious, even angry. You'll start to feel how your voice shifts emotion. Do this enough and your tone will finally match what you mean, making everything sound real, not robotic. Bottom line, being understood isn't just about what you say, it's about how you say it. And that's 100% a skill you can build. Obstacle 2. Social Skills Deficit Bro, sometimes we're not awkward because because we're weird. We're awkward because we're using the wrong vibe in the wrong moment. Like, you ever try to drop a serious story in a group chat full of jokes? Yeah, that's not the time, my guy. There's this social science expert named Vanessa Van Edwards. She says we all have 14 social skills, but we usually only crush it at two and flop at two. So ask yourself, are you better one-on-one -on -one or in a group? Are you the storyteller or the listener? Figuring that out is like unlocking your social settings. Once you know what you're good at, lean in hard. If you're funny, be the dude who lights up the room. Boom. If you're deep, be the one who makes people feel heard in private convos. Both are powerful. But yeah, we all got weak spots too. Maybe you're not the best at being assertive or humor doesn't come easy. That's cool. Nobody's perfect. Just treat it like the gym reps build. Skill. Want to boost your social game overall? Here's the cheat code. Eye contact. Don't go full serial killer stare. Just aim for 50-70% when talking. And in groups, move your gaze every few seconds. It shows confidence without being intent. Facial expressions. If your face is stuck on loading, people won't know how to read you. A study in 2016 said expressive faces are seen as way more attractive. Channel your inner Jim Carrey in front of the mirror. Feels dumb? Works wonders. And don't let them dangle awkwardly. Hold your phone. Adjust your shirt, sip your drink. Small stuff keeps you grounded. And bro, even if you nail all of this, you'll still mess up sometimes. That's life. The move, own it. Say, that was awkward, ha, huh, with a laugh. People love honesty more than perfection, always. And hey bro, if any of this is hitting home, like you're nodding along thinking, yup, that's me, take a quick second to hit that subscribe button. I've got more of these real talk breakdowns coming, and they're all about helping you grow without pretending to be someone you're not. Alright, let's keep going, because even if you're getting better at knowing yourself and communicating well, there's still one sneaky habit that can totally drain your confidence without you even realizing it. Let's break that down. Down next. Obstacle 3. Obsessive interests. Well, cool. ever get super deep into something like anime lore, crypto, marble timelines, or bird watching, no judgment, and then totally kill a convo because you went off for 10 minutes straight? Yeah, we've all been there. That passion? It's not a bad thing. It's actually fire if you know how to use it. Take Theodore Roosevelt, dude. Was asthmatic as a kid and stayed indoors a lot. Instead of playing outside, he got obsessed with birds and nature. At family dinners, he'd straight up interrupt convos just to name birds out loud. Everyone thought he was weird, but later he learned how to chill a bit and poured that energy into writing books and journals. That bird nerd became one of the most charismatic U.S. presidents ever. For real, you can do the same, bro. Got a niche interest? Don't shove it down people's throats. 
Share it where it belongs. Make a TikTok. Write about it. Start a YouTube channel. Your passion could build a whole community if you aim it right. Now here's something wild. When you're stuck in your head, overthinking how people see you, it's not just anxiety. It's your brain's default mode network doing overtime. Basically, your mind is wandering instead of staying present, and that leads to awkward vibes. Dicks, active listening, for real. Just stop focusing on how you're doing and zero in on the person talking. Listen to their words, feel their tone, watch their body language. Suddenly, you're not in your own head anymore, you're in the moment. And that, that's where confidence lives. Bottom line, your obsession isn't the problem, it's how you share it. Done right, it makes you stand out in the best way possible. <laughs> All right, bro. Social awkwardness doesn't mean you're broken. It just means you've got a few things to tweak and guess what everyone's figuring this stuff out when you start talking clearer lean into your strengths and turn your obsessions into something creative you'll start feeling like you actually belong in any room awkward moments still gonna happen but now you'll know how to roll with them instead of letting them wreck your vibe start small practice often don't aim for perfection aim to be real that's what people connect with and hey if this video helped even just a little hit that subscribe button so you don't miss more stuff like this you got this bro see you in the next one